In this video, I will show you how to install the latest version of VirtualBox. VirtualBox allows users to create and run virtual machines on their computers, enabling them to install and run multiple operating systems simultaneously in one computer. In short, you can use it to run multiple and different operating system in just one computer or laptop. I usually use this application to test new operating system release and also new applications before installing it on an actual environment or actual device. Let's begin. Open your web browser then search for VirtualBox download. We will choose the first link which is from the official website. We will be redirected to the downloads page. Under VirtualBox platform packages, we have the version for Windows, version for Mac OS, version for Linux and other platforms. During the time of this recording, the latest version available is version 7.0.14. Since I'm running on Windows 11 and I want to install it on this device then I will choose Windows Hosts. Click on it and it will automatically download the executable file. Wait for it to finish the process. Let's check the downloaded file, you can manually go to Downloads folder, where you can click on the folder icon and you will be redirected to the Downloads folder. You can see the file name which is VirtualBox followed by the application version. Double click on it to install. Click Next to proceed. We will leave the installation folder to default. Click Next to proceed. We will receive a warning, it will reset the network settings so we will temporarily disconnect to the network. This will also automatically create a virtual network interface. We can open the network connections to view the changes. You can see that we have a total of 6 network interface. Now, click Yes to proceed. This application requires Python core package and Win32 API. Click Yes to proceed. Click Install to proceed with the installation. Wait for it to finish the process. You can see the virtual network interface that has been automatically created. This interface is intended for this virtual box application. Notice also the shortcut icon that has been automatically created on desktop. Start Oracle VM VirtualBox after installation is already checked so once we click finish, the application will automatically launch. We have now successfully installed VirtualBox application. Let's go through some of this application features. First is the preferences. Tick on it. Under General, Default Machine folder is where all the virtual machines will be stored. I usually store all my virtual machines on D drive. To change the default machine folder, tick the down arrow, choose other. Locate the folder where you want to be the default machine folder. In my case, I have created a folder on drive D named virtual machines. I usually store all the virtual machines in one folder and not on C drive. The reason why I am doing this is if in case your operating system is corrupted or you want to format your computer, no need for you to reinstall all the virtual machines again. You can simply import the virtual machine which has been stored on different folder. We all know that operating systems are installed on drive C. So after you format your operating system, all the files on drive C will be lost unless you have a backup. Next is check for updates. We can enable this option for it to automatically check for new updates. You can modify the schedule based on your preference. It's better to set it to stable release versions. Demo version sometimes has some bugs or issues. You can change also the language from here. By default, it's English. You can check the other features and modify based on your preference. Click OK to apply the changes. In the next videos, I will show you how to install Windows 11 and Ubuntu appliances on this virtual box. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.